issue that we ought to be paying attention to is who are these people who we execute in the U.S.? I used to say that if you show me somebody on death row, I can tell you his biography. He's somebody who grew up in circumstances that most of the people in this room cannot remotely imagine. Capital punishment, also known as the death penalty, is a process which results in an individual being put to death by the state as a punishment for a serious crime such as murder. The case can also be heard by a federal court depending on the jurisdiction and if the case has already been appealed by state legislatures in the lower courts. Oregon uh, to be el potentially eligible for the death penalty, uh, you have to be guilty not just of murder, but of what's called aggravated murder. And aggravated murder is simply the intentional killing of another person, plus some special circumstance. And there are about 20 different circumstances under the statute, like you kill the person in the course of robbing them, you kill the person in, quarter, in the course of uh, uh, raping them. People support the death penalty for many reasons, many having to do with conserving tax money, public safety, and moral justice for the crimes committed. Well, I'm in favor of it because I think that for certain very heinous crimes it's appropriate that somebody be executed. Mm -hmm. Many people who are against capital punishment change their views on the death penalty in the immediate time after the loss of a loved one. I think the most surprising part about it for me was how much I wanted to go out and seek revenge against the people who had killed my brother, even though I didn't know who that was. Cost is another important reason why many are against the death penalty due to the multitude of trials and other events following. The cost issue, I think, is kind of a phony issue because there's really no great cost there. And in, in many cases, does it lead to really expensive, uh, endless litigation? Yeah, it does. Uh, but on the other hand, do other cases never get litigated uh, to any great extent because of the existence of death penalty? Yes, it does. So I, I think cost is a phony argument put out there by people who think they can't win their argument against the death penalty on the merits. Those who are against capital punishment believe that the sentence is ironic in which killing someone to show killing is wrong goes against itself, and life in prison guarantees no future crimes as well as the murder rates in the U.S. have not gone down during its effect. Why do you oppose death penalty? Well, the death penalty is fraught with a lot of problems. In particular, innocent people have been sentenced to death. And of course, it also it comes down hardest on uh, the poor, uh, those who kill white people. There's a racial element and a lot of arbitrariness, I think, is in the way it's applied. Those, those are the problems with the death penalty. It's the federal process. So what happens is, these families have to relive this and think about this forever. I mean, I, um, and I think that at the front end, when you really look at what a lot of the families say, it sounded like a good idea at the front end. I mean, in other words, you know, um, an eye for an eye sort of, sort of concept. But after uh, these people are kind of uh, just literally dragged through the process, uh, it's really, uh, it becomes something that they really do not want. So I, I think the interesting part is to really look at what, what victims actually say once they've been through, through the process. This is a very lengthy process. It, it can take 25 to 30 years before somebody is executed, and in that time, that family member could be continuously have to not only have the anniversary of the family member who was murdered um, that they have to think about, but they have to think of this long, lengthy legal process and they have to keep track of it, and that's emotionally scarring, I think, in some ways. And it's Life in prison without parole is, for all intents and purposes, it is a death penalty. You're in prison until the day you die. Cost can average around $135,000 total per year for the process of capital punishment, whereas life without parole will only cost $45,000 due to the extra appeals. If you compare a lifetime in prison to 20 years in death row, the capital punishment cost is still almost twice as much. 2.7 million versus 1.6 million. My general position is that um, the
the death penalty is a, uh, it is a horrible sentencing measure under any uh, moral standard. Um, and I think that that is uh, supported both by, by a, a large movement here nationally and also, quite frankly, internationally, where uh, we don't see virtually any uh, capital punishment going on in any industrialized first world countries. Um, so my position is um, I am absolutely uh, against capital punishment. As, as you've seen, capital punishment has two very strong sides to each side of the argument. Supporters of the death penalty mainly support their beliefs around moral values, as killing is wrong and should not be used to show that. In addition, the cost for the death penalty is much higher than life without parole. Others who are pro-death penalty believe in justice, an eye for an eye, and to relieve the grieving families of the lost victims. Also, some believe that the death penalty is a deterrent, but that is debatable. To add on, supporters of this feel this is a much better punishment for the crimes committed. Dear Mr. President, during your term in office, you have dealt with important issues such as gay marriage, the economy, and the fiscal cliff. But when will something be done about capital punishment? 